Do you have Salvinia Minima? Do you want to make some extra money? Do you want to know how to grow it so that way you can make some extra money? This is the video for you. Hey everyone, Kyle here from Poseidon's Pets. So today what I got for you guys is I'm going to show you how to grow Salvinia Minima for profit. So that way you can grow this plant. That way you can pay for some extra stuff in your fish room, in your shrimp room, whatever you need. You know, you need a little bit of extra cash, then this is going to be the best way to do that. And this technique works with, you know, any floating plant. So floating plants are great money makers, you know, sell them for five bucks a clump and they're very prolific. A lot of people just throw them away, but you can make some good money on this. This is how I do it. So what I have here is this is my shrimp rack. So in my shrimp rack, I like floating plants because they help to remove nitrates as well as they help to give the baby shrimp some cover and a place for them to lay. So you can see how thick this Salvinia minima is. And this stuff is great because you can take a large clump out of there and sell it and you're still gonna have plenty. So Salvinia minima doesn't like a lot of flow. So if you have a pump that's flowing too hard, to give you an example, I unplugged all my stuff because it's loud. Give you an example, in this tank here, you can see it's kind of struggling, the duckweed's taken over. And the main reason for that is this tank has a lot of airflow. So it's got a lot of surface movement. It's got a lot of surface agitation. That surface agitation is gonna cause that plant to basically fold over on itself. The tops of the leaves are gonna get wet. And when that happens, it's gonna start to rot. It's gonna start to die. It's not going to reproduce like it should. Now let me unplug this again. So you really don't need any fertilizer for this plant. So I don't dose my shrimp tanks with any fertilizer. The only fertilizer that they are getting is the nitrates from the nitrogen cycle. So if you wanted to, you could even take this plant and grow it in a tank without fish. As long as you have a, an established biological media, you can add some fertilizer to a tank, just a little bit, throw that in there, get some aeration going, some good lights, and you'll be good to go. You'll have more of this than you know what to do with. What I did was I went online to Amazon and I just bought deli containers. So these are eight ounce deli containers. And what I'll do is I'll take a small clump, put it in there, put a little bit of water in there. And I sell that for $5. I post it on Facebook Marketplace. I post it on OfferUp. So there's easy ways to sell this stuff and you can make quite a bit of money on it. And frankly, it, it grows anywhere. If you have a little bit of airflow, it's not a lot of circulation. You don't want overhead filtration, like hang on the back filters because that's gonna cause, there's a fly buzzing around my head. That's gonna cause those plants to have that water come over the top. They're gonna get drowned and they're gonna, they're gonna start to melt and die. So you don't want that overhead water. So just to recap, super easy floating plant, toss it in a tank, don't need a lot of fertilizer. You don't need heavy powered lights. These are just Nikru lights, 30 bucks on Amazon. Don't need a whole lot of stuff to make this plant happy. You don't need a lot of fertilizer. You don't need any special substrate, no special water parameters. I noticed that they do better in my soft water tanks versus my Arizona hard water tap water. So they do like a little bit of a lower pH, more acidic. And then for lights, you really don't need anything too powerful. If you've got a traditional light on your aquarium, you know that's gonna be enough to give you what you need to grow this plant. And you're gonna be able to sell it locally so that way you can go buy more stuff. You could buy more fish, you could buy more fish food. So this is gonna be a great way that you can, you can get that plant to be out there and be sold. And you know, you're helping the hobby out that way too. Super easy floating plant. Now you guys know how to grow Salvinia minima for profit. So get out there, go sell some Salvinia Minima, get some more fish food for you. And always guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you love me, you love my fish, you love my videos, hit that subscribe button. Do me a favor too, hit the like and leave a comment down below what you thought about this video. Tell me what do you sell in your hometown to make money for your fish tanks? Do you sell other plants? What do you guys do to, to pay for the hobby? Cause we all spend way too much money in this hobby. So tell me what you do. So thanks again for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.